Bobby Carlo. We have with us in the uh, the studio today, supervising producer and head writer of the Matt T- Nighttime Show, Matt Walker, and Lars Steven Universe, Cartoon Network, Big Time Rush, Hot Tube Girls, the winner in Celebrity Cupcake Wars, Matt Moy. And here's your host, the amazing blazing Steven Kramer Glickman. Oh I think he almost said the Matt Time Show. We yeah. should change the name. Wow. We should, maybe we should change it to the Matt it's Time 50% Show. 50% Matt's today. Oh, God, Robbie. You're getting better. You're right? getting better than last time. Yeah. And you've got yeah. a new shirt. Look at you. It's all Hawaiian. That's a Hawaiian shirt. Yeah. It's one of the... It's, it's very tropical. It's a. It, is that from the Gabriel Iglesias collection? <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to make it my thing, but then I found out somebody already did it. There's al- <sighs> they're already a fat guy in Hawaiian shirts. That's already, already a thing. Yeah. We've already done it. I have He's a Hawaiian a shirt. Star. We all all fat guys have at least one Hawaiian shirt. Do, do you all have like a Tommy Bahama shirt? Isn't we that all like the have brand? One, it's a thing when you when you you hit like a certain weight. What's the, the a weight? guy just shows up? It's like two hundred and fifty pounds. Oh, that low! <laughs> like that. I thought yeah. it was gonna be like three forty-seven or no, something. No, at two fifty, a guy shows up to your house and he goes, "All right, here you go. Here's your here's your fat guy shirt. Here's your fat guy shirt." And you go, "Oh, thank you so much." And then you wear it proudly, and then every time you don't know when it's time to change up to mm-hmm. the next one. A yeah. guy shows up at your house, right? Okay, he just brings and he that, just brings you the next one. I have like five, like five. That's exactly how it happened. Only yep. it was with Amazon Prime. <laughs> <laughs> this is the UPS guy brought this, the shirt. Uh, this is actually a commercial for Amazon Prime. Yeah, um, I love Amazon Prime. It really so is. Do I, you so can good. watch my comedy special on Amazon Prime for free. You really can. You should uh, do that before we uh, before we introduce our guest. I know you already kind of introduced him, but before we before we get him in here, I just want to tell you one real quick thing that happened. Mm-hmm. Um, so I got a, I got, I did this uh, Twitter party, like, and Twitter campaign thing for Dole, for Dole, the fruit mm-hmm. company. Yes. Okay. And he, <laughs> bananas and pineapples, right? Yeah. And uh, and so here's that's why Robbie wore the Hawaiian shirt. Right, He's exactly. like, it's very to celebrate today. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So they gave me a, b- <laughs> a bunch of coupons for yeah. like free salads and free bananas. I could just give away to yeah. my friends. I, I got a coupon for free bananas, and I was going to try to use it. But I realized the store was that only sold Chiquita bananas, Man. so I couldn't use it there, so I have to go Fuck to a different Chiquita. grocery store. That's what I say. <laughs> yeah. We don't like Chiquita in this part of town. We're a dole part of town. This is dole Suck part it, of Carmen town. Carmen Miranda. Yeah, yeah, Carmen Miranda, you weirdo. Um, anyways, uh, what ended up happening was is uh, I saw Mike Black the other night, and yeah. I had a uh, in my wallet a mm-hmm. dole uh, fruit, coupon, s- fruit right? uh, salad coupon. It was for free mm-hmm. salad. And so I go, hey, Mike. Uh, I got this for you, and I hand it to him, and he goes, he goes, what is it? And I go, it's a a, a coupon for a free salad, a free Dole uh, salad. And he goes like this, he just and ripped it up into a bunch of pieces, and then threw it in my face. And I was like, what the fuck was that for? And he goes, he goes, uh, what? That's just a joke. I go, that was a free salad. And he goes, what do you mean? I go, look, here's another one. It's a, a free, it's free. You go to this grocery store, they give you a free bag of salad. He goes, oh my God, if that doesn't say enough about my life, that he's like, like, if that doesn't say enough about Mike Black, that he wouldn't even accept a free salad. He just tore it up and threw it at me like, like a joke. Uh, but he, I, uh, I would eat a free salad. I know you would. Yeah, you are a you. Yeah, <laughs> you I, say, I say, am a free salad. I am, you are a free salad. <laughs> you are I'm, a free salad. That's the you worst. are a free salad. That's the the dumbest comeback. Oh God, I have horrible comebacks. I've never been good at it. Um, uh, but you know who has been good at it uh, mm-hmm. on his TV show Two Broke Girls mm-hmm. uh, is this wonderful actor. Uh, this guy, uh, his his career is incredibly extensive. Uh, he's been on Tim and Eric. Awesome show. Great job. Uh, you saw him on scrubs for a very long time. Um, all sorts of amazing shows. I Carly. He was on I Carly. He was on, uh, I, I met him on big time rush. He was in the movie. No strings attached with Ashton Kutcher. Lots of great stuff Which that we, we can talk saw about. In the theater. We did see that in the theater because I love dragging you to movies like, like that. <laughs> the um, worst gay date ever. Yeah, it was, was really a bad date for you. We're going to talk about another gay date. Yes, by the way. we are. We're going to talk about a bunch yeah. of gay dates. Um, but, um, and we can do that because Robbie's here. So, um, here's so because because Robbie Robbie is a a gay man, um, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, 
no, yeah, just it hasn't changed in the last <laughs> week. <laughs> I just want to make sure nothing's changed. <laughs> Are you still gay today? That would be a great name for a show, and we should do that. Um, <laughs> but you know him mostly for his uh, over 120 episodes of Two Broke Girls, one of our favorite shows. He plays Han on the show, and he's incredible. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Matthew Moy is here. Yes. What up? What up? America. Thank you, guys. Bring the heat. You. I got to teach you guys something. If you're going to applaud for somebody, applaud in front of the microphone. Oh, not but. Because if you applaud down here. Down here. They can't hear, but up here. Up here. More. More. There you go. Let's all applaud for him again. Right, Matthew Moy. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, That's the appropriate he's here, applause. and we're happy you're here. Um, when does your first rap album come out? That's what I want to know. Oh, because you I'm should currently it. compiling it. <laughs> yeah. So like far, I do computer? a rap about money. <laughs> yeah. Do you have a rap name picked out? Um. Oh. Uh, oh. What? Uh, uh, Grandmaster Moy. Oh Grandmaster Moy. That's actually yeah. not bad. That would be a yeah. great. Yeah. DJ Kite and Grandmaster <laughs> Moy. Oh my God, is that you and Jonathan yeah. Kite? Jonathan's a great guy. Uh, he he's on the show. Terrible he, DJ. Yeah. Horrible <laughs> DJ. Seems like it. <laughs> yes. He's been on the the nighttime show twice, I believe. We've yeah. had him on the show. On the live show, a couple times. Incredibly funny. Super super funny. Um, your career is super extensive, and you have been on a ton of shows how what's your what like what, what's your recognizable recognizability is that a word what is it like what's who recognizes you out on the street like who do you who stops you like when you're out in the world oh you know i i feel like they're like what age group like who grabs you either little kids or people who watch two broke girls yeah. yeah but the little kids they'll recognize me from like all that kid stuff like Big Time Rush or iCarly or some random Disney things because they're playing that all the time when they get home from school, you know? Oh, yeah. yeah so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah kids shows are just rerun central. They just yeah. run them into the They're club. currently playing all the Disney movies this 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 month. Like, Have you been in a lot of Disney movies? No, but I, I know that. <laughs> been, are you watching a lot of Disney movies? <laughs> yes. Okay. Oh, I thought you had kids or something. <laughs> No kids, no kids, no, no, kids. no. no kids. Are you? I do are not you, uh, prefer children. Are you? Me are you either. dating? Uh, you have a, a child? A, no, no. I, mean, I mean a lady. Are you dating? Well, he needs a lot of children. <laughs> Establish that. Uh, no, 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 not dating anyone right now. No, single out there, single ready to mingle as f. Yeah. Like, are you dating someone in between? Yeah. Okay. Is there well, someone that we can? Uh, what what are you into? No what, shout outs uh, right now. Who are you who are you into? What kind of what kind of what's your like perfect kind of lady? What what what's your what's your type? Oh, uh, you know, I really like there's a fine line between uh, like bitchy and ambitious. Mm. Um I I like So are you dating your boss Whitney Cummings? Cuz yes. that sounds like No. <laughs> but I love her, but no. Yeah. Um no. I don't know. I like controlling women. Yeah. Okay. I like domineering women. Lisa Lampanelli. My, so my we girl. had her on the show. Okay, yeah, I know. She's great. I thought yeah. you said you like controlling women. I do. Like controlling women. No, no, no. Like, he likes a woman a who is in control. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah no, like my controlling girlfriend is, women. My girlfriend's very tough. My girlfriend is yeah. like is a bitch. Everybody kind of knows. Like in a good Not way. To me. Like, see, that's where no, you draw no, no, the no. line. But <laughs> she refers to herself that way. Like she knows that she's like, she's like a t- I wouldn't say she's a bitch. She's like a tough bitch. If she you know? wasn't, your life would fall apart. Yeah, no, no. Absolutely. She she slaps me around, keeps me in line. Cause my I mean, if it wasn't for her, I all I'd spend all my money on candy, which yeah. is what I spent all my money on before we got together. Like oh. she'd be like, like, where are you, you know, uh, you know, like Matt would be like, where are you going tonight? I'd be like the candy store. I'm going to go buy. <laughs> that's, that's literally a thing. I'm not kidding you. I'd go to the candy store uh, at a the Universal City Highland. Highland. Uh, yep. The one in Hollywood and you, Highland oh, and Universal yeah. City yeah. Walk. You know, we're so advanced now. You can subscribe to a candy box every month. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Japan box is a, a a box where they send you uh, Japanese candy. Japanese oh candy my in the god, mail. Japanese candy. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> it's so. I have a bunch of Japanese candy in my apartment right now because my roommate just got back from Japan and he brought back a bunch of Japanese snack food. Really? Yeah. Do you want? You some? should bring it in. Did bring you it bring in? a lady well, too? Yeah. Bring, no, just, bring in Japanese just candy. Lady. Well, what about have you da- have you ever dated anybody uh, Japanese or um, of, of? No, I've been interested in Japanese people, but mm. no. What is your racial type? Of girl um, I like everybody. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have a racial type, Robbie? I like black men. Okay. Yeah. Is, uh, no, I'm just a progressive white guy. I love black men. Can we get into Robbie's <laughs> date? Because I, I, 
There are things I want to ask that I don't want to know the answers to, but I kind of want to ask anyways. Uh, we, we need to know. Here's the thing. I got, I'm got. i going to just read you a text. This is a real thing that happened. Um, Robbie Matt, likes black men. Yeah. No, Matt, you need to know about this, and I apologize for bringing this up with you here, but it's important because uh, it's a real thing that really happened. Um, I, got a, uh, I got a text from... Uh, <laughs> from Robbie. From Robbie, and this is what the text said. It said... Um, uh wait i'm waiting for it hang on <laughs> hang on hang on hang on um dude how right. many texts does robbie send you, you a go lot this far? a lot a lot of <laughs> holy what a fucking conversation this oh is. my god this is a mess um <laughs> robbie you're writing novels i do I, so, I do write novels that could have been the text too oh my god this you, is a mess you okay so we can cut some of this, right? <laughs> we can pretend. Are you looking for the text I sent you that night that it happened? Yeah. It yeah. was on Facebook. Oh, that's why. It was on Facebook. All right. Okay. All right. It's, <laughs> this, is, this is a great conversation that we're having. Uh, Robbie sent me a text about, um, like, it was like late one night, too. It was middle of the night. And we, uh, you know, we like, were here at the improv when you got it. Realized, yeah, we were here. We were hanging out. Oh, my I, God. I thought you were You at home. never really realize how how strong your relationship is as, as friends until you get uh, a text that just says, uh, hey, hey, guess what happened to me last night? And I go, what? And he goes, got fucked <laughs> and i go wow that's uh that's great dude congrats oh no 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 here's what you did you wrote hey this may be weird but i wanted to let you know and then he sent me i just had sex the youtube video i've been holding on to that for the longest time yep. i've been wanting to and i wrote back good that's for how you, you want good for you buddy no, and that's no. all I, I don't want to know anything else that's all i want to know but i know that there's a i know there's yeah, a black I have eye Okay. Oh my god! I do the same thing. You do the There's same nothing thing. Nothing wrong with that. You text. Yeah. You, you text. I'm text. very proud of Every time when you have I become one with another woman. Absolutely. And I want my supportive friends to know. Sure, sure. That's yeah. part of the deal. That's part of the deal. Look, I this is an Matt important one in... for Robbie because this yeah. this is the first one, right? Yeah. Was this the first? The, the first one. The, yeah, it was, it was like this the... is a virginity situation. Yeah, yeah. that's why I sent you the thing. This is a big See? deal. It's a, See, big it's a big deal. This was a big fact, deal. We're talking about Robbie's applause virginity. Applause for Robbie's, for Robbie's virginity. virginity. You did it. You got it. Mazel, mazel. <laughs> Matt, I forgot to tell you, I uh, last night I had a, a little uh, fireball moment. <laughs> Another one? Yeah, well, you know, I've been uh, having a lot of fun recently. They're and, a lot uh, of fun. They're great. I love the fireball. They really are. They really are. Glazer, you know anything about this, about these fireball moments? Oh, real fun time. Oh, they're so great. What happens is, is uh, when you drink fireball whiskey, then, you know, things just get a little uh, crazier. <laughs> like, like life just gets a little brighter and mm-hmm. more exciting. So where were you? And, well, I was at a Sportsman's Lodge. You know that oh, yeah. place? The used old... to do stand-up on a patio. Oh, God. Where you get heckled by buses driving by. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so that's what happened is um we were, I was there and I was hanging out, you know, just uh, just you know, relaxing. I had a couple of drinks, a couple of shots of fireball and uh I took a little wander around. I was doing a little little wander into this little forest mm-hmm. behind Sportsman's Lodge. Do you oh, know there's, there's a, a forest, forest back there? Yeah, there's a forest over we there. There's so many weird forests in oh, LA. Yeah, there's it's a amazing. lot of forests. There's a lot of greenery out here. I'm wandering around through the forest. I'm having a nice little time. I have a bottle of Fireball mm-hmm. with me as per usual. And I'm walking around and uh, what do I see? But uh, I saw a fairy. Really? Yeah, it was just floating did, there. Did you, did you talk to it? What happened? Yeah, I was like, hey... Are you real? I'm real. I'm I'm just as real as you are. Wow, you're so bright. Oh, well, that's because I came from heaven. Oh, my gosh. That's incredible. Yeah. Is that where all fairies are from? Well, we live everywhere. Some live in heaven, and some live in the United Arab Emirates. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize that that's where they live. That's... So mm. fascinating. Mm-hmm. Uh, hey, so what are you doing out here in the forest? You having a good time? Well, I came for you. You did? Yes, well, I, I came with a message. Oh, you did? Mm-hmm. What's the message? Little Mr. Glickman hopping through the forest, <laughs> scooping up the field mice and popping them out the head. <laughs> you can't do that. Put down your fireball. Time to sober up. 
<laughs> oh, <laughs> I love that song. <laughs> hey, you want to? Do you want a quick? You want? Would, would you like? Hey, fairy, would you like a shot of this fireball whiskey? Yeah. All right, here you go. <laughs> Try it out. Oh wow, that just goes right down. Yeah, so do I. <laughs> and then I made sweet, sweet love to that fairy in the woods. Uh, and, uh, 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 <laughs> it was the greatest experience of my life. Fireball whiskey. You never know what's going to happen. <laughs> All right, let's get back to the show. Now, because you you fooled around with guys before, but this is the this first, the time, first you time you actually. It was it was the it was the uh, the black cherry popper. Okay, oh, Jesus Whoa. Christ! Because before, wow, I remember you. Sounds you, decadent. You <laughs> blew. <laughs> it, it was like you, the story was. I think you blew a guy watching Scary Movie Two. No, uh, Big Mama's House. Big Mama's <laughs> House Two. What is wrong three. with you? That is a great movie. Three. It was the third one. It was the one where uh, the did Martin you, did Lawrence. You, and his kid went in drag. <laughs> oh, wow. And you were like, I, I just have to blow somebody down. That's like, I'm so turned on by this movie, <laughs> by Martin Lawrence's performance. Did he use the popcorn trick on you? No. Oh. No. Did box. he fool you? <laughs> no. I, I was... You knew what you were doing. Yeah, no, I was like, this is like... I, I don't I don't have like that kind of, oh, you know what? This probably isn't the movie I should blow somebody at, but I was bored and... <laughs> I thought, you know what? I should just blow this guy. Are you saying if Martin Lawrence was more entertaining, you wouldn't have blown the guy? Probably. I don't know. Probably not. I probably would have waited. <laughs> oh, Martin Lawrence. Uh, Changing lives. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, so the other, I know you've been on the hunt for some D for a while. You've been Good talking D. about it. Good D. Good D. And Good you always D. said you wanted the guy to take you out and wine and dine. You did that happen? No. Okay. Oh, right. No. Um, so, so how did you how meet the, this person? How did, the, how did this, this happen? Grinder. Grinder, oh, okay. all right. Yeah, shout out to Grinder. Right. Yeah. Good job, Grinder. Whoop whoop. This uh, d- the, <laughs> Robbie's virginity brought to you by Grinder. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, did you meet him at a public place, or did you just go over to his house? Did he come over? How'd that work out? No, like um, I got a message from him, just like, "Hey, cutie, how you doing?" I'm like, "Oh, wow, this is a this is a, like a new blend of words that mm-hmm. I haven't heard before." And what did he look like? He was this Middle Eastern dude, like. When nice. I first saw him, like he he was like <laughs> it, like you knew that English wasn't his first language okay. kind of situation. Wow. He looked like an Uber driver. Was he? <laughs> <laughs> was he my Uber driver? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> but like uh, like he, he came oh downstairs God. and he had like like. So how sweat. old? You uh, met him at his house. Yeah, you yeah. went over there. Okay, so how old was he? I'm not gonna fuck him in my like one room apartment. Yeah, yeah no sure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, of course. Just come on. How, you have, about you have standards. Old? Probably about like 35, 36. Okay, older yeah. man. All okay, right. Like that's, no, that's not too old. Yeah, that's yeah. nice. That's a good age. Reasonable. Yeah. yeah. Ten year difference. Whatever. It's all good. All right. no, it's, yeah. Great for me. You know, I've, so. I've dated mm-hmm. way more than ten year difference. Oh me, yeah. So yeah, it's fine. With neck braces, you wouldn't believe the horror shows this guy gets into. And he's like still swallowing. Wow. Yeah. All right, so what happened? So you get over there. Matt, are you cool with this? We're cool? We're yeah. all good? So are you all cool right? with yeah. this? All right. So, t- so yeah. tell me what, tell me what <laughs> happens mean, It's here. your personal life, not yeah. mine. I just want to make sure. I, I, I'm just not going to say names. All right. Well, don't <laughs> say his name. But so, names. You, so yeah. you go over to his place. You meet him downstairs. He takes you up. Oh, like this is like the best first impression what, I've ever what had. What time of the night was this? Like 9.30-ish. You guys are writing the script right now. Yeah. <laughs> and um, Did he live alone or did he live with two broke girls? <laughs> no, I want to see if I can get all the names of all the shows you've been in sure. into this into this sure. conversation. I can't okay. wait. He he lived alone. It was a it was a really nice two bedroom apartment. It's like you know those apartments on La Brea that they just finished building. Mm-hmm. It was like it was one of those. Like okay. it was in that area. So I was like, oh yeah, sure. You know, the, like a nice apartment. I wasn't gonna okay. go to like Compton and be like, oh, I need some D from here. No. If, yeah. <laughs> If I'm gonna get some black D, they're gonna have to be like Thousand Oaks, Woodland but, Hills. But this black wasn't D. a black guy. This was wow. a Middle Eastern guy. Middle Eastern. Yeah. Okay. Wow. A person of color. Did you guys He's decide ahead of time that there would be no strings attached? Well, it, it came it, very like, nice. It was later in the situation. It, it's later that it happened. <laughs> okay. So okay. you go there. He takes you upstairs. <laughs> yeah, but and no, you go inside. Well, here's here's how he made his first impression, right? Mm-hmm. Like he walks downstairs. I feel like we're on Love Connection right now. You and they are. Come back and they talk about the you story. Are. I'm, I'm you're, you're the operator on Love Line right now. Oh, I'm, I'm totally. Just let him tell the story. Okay. <laughs> so he's wearing like kind of like purple slacks, like 
you know. Wait, what? Who wears purple slacks? <laughs> Velvety purple slacks. Oh was it Grimace? The, was he the Joker? <laughs> no. Oh my god! But he like he walks out and he's got like a, a, like um kind of a, a satiny shirt and it's like cut like this like you can't see it because I'm talking about like you could just see like it was so like he had a, a bunch of chest hair hanging out like he had his Ooh. uh his uh freaking uh was there a gold chain yeah <laughs> and a medallion oh. yeah. did and he it, call you my friend yes <laughs> oh my god he, he grabs you by the face and like mm, mm, oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> wow! <laughs> I like. I really ne- like my friend. Uh, my friend Jason always says, "You're somebody's type. Like you are somebody." Yes. I'm like, okay, I'm, yeah, like yeah, sure. But like, if there's one I, thing I've learned is... from watching Maury, everyone is somebody's type. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. He was very good looking. So man. okay, so he's a handsome man. He very meets handsome. you, greets you, my friend, brings you upstairs. Yeah. What happens? Uh, I didn't know what to do, and it seemed like he was like. So we're just like kind of sitting, talking for a little bit. We turn on Netflix on this TV. Netflix, Netflix and chill. And chill. Yeah. There we well, go. I, like, I figured that was okay. That's how we started He's off. He's using right? all the moves. What did you watch on Netflix? <laughs> we were watching American Big Mama's Dad. House Three. <laughs> we were watching American Amer- Dad. American Dad. American Dad. Yeah. That turns me Real. on so much. American Dad. <laughs> That's every like time. a lovely personality this guy has. Yeah, He's yeah so I like chill. this guy. I'm mm. yeah. You know, before you know it, you could end up being accidentally in love. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. You oh, yeah. Nice I did apartment. that, too, with Fred Willard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds kind of like a story involving Fred Willard. At- um, Fred, oh, Will- Fred was not there. Okay. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> keep keep we going. We all missed his presence. What happened? Yeah. What happened here? Uh, so he's like, so who are you? What do you do? And I'm like, my, oh, my name's Robbie, and I'm a comedian. And So I, how much conversation do you have on Grinder before you went over there? Like, I was just like, hey, you know, responded back, and he's like, so what are you doing tonight? Nothing really. So that's it. It's like, hey, what are you doing? Nothing. Want to come over and hang out? And you're like, yeah, let's do it. It's the same well, way on no, Tinder. Like, well, kind of. He was like, where do you I live? I wish that was the same way with Tinder. Tinder's not that fast. Hmm. That's yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I'm not on TV, so. Well, be a I mean, yeah. Party. No, no, but no. I know mean, what you're talking yeah. about. You Sometimes, wouldn't need sorry. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I understand. Yeah. I've had that happen before, but not on Tinder. But yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. I yeah, get it. Yeah. But like once you're on TV, you can like get pussy on demand. You know, like there's can like a you? service. Let's I'm no, sure. That's not true. You I don't can? think it's true. <laughs> like like Instacart, but like you just send somebody out to bring you back pussy or yeah, something. Yeah, but you know what? People can get, you can get pussy if you're on TV, but you have, getting good, getting yeah, it, good you stuff. You can get pussy, it's not the pussy you want. Mm. So like you have to go to like back out. and get words. To, You have to yeah. find good people and that's hard. Yeah. That's hard. Mm. I mean, yeah. everybody can get like some, you know, crappy lady that'll <laughs> hang out and, you know, take your money. Well, so, <laughs> like on, on some of these dating apps, sometimes women just want to say hi to me just for the fact that they want to say hi to me. They're like, oh, we were talking to Matt Moy. Yeah. yeah. But then yeah. they stop. But then they go. I've, yeah. I've yeah. seen that happen. I'm not going to say who I've seen it yeah. with, but I've seen it happen with uh, with uh, with other. You know what? I don't mind saying who it is. Uh, Josh Sussman, yeah. our dear friend from yeah. Glee, oh, yeah. had oh, a yeah, very, yeah, 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 yeah. very similar type of situation yeah. where, uh, where girls were talking to him on dating places just to say they were talking to him. But then after like he didn't like he went out with enough of those people where some someone ended up being like he, he they, they'd want to meet up so they could like take a picture with him basically. Oh, you know, like that oh, horrible situation. That's, that's the rough. worst. But that's but rough. He did this enough. I think he went with he went out. He probably went out with like 15 to 20 of these people. And then like the 20th person was like a nice girl. Who was hey. actually into him, and now they're like dating and hanging out. That's lovely. But it's a yeah. really tricky. It's a tricky situation, man. And like then he sends you horrific texts. Yeah, because well, you so, also. Some, yeah, seriously. Sometimes I just see these pictures and I go, oh, "You're yeah. not into me." Oh, yeah, come on. It's you know, it's such a tricky. Okay, the, the one like that. Are you on Bumble? Yeah, that's what we're like. You you fired up. And you're like. This is like a Victoria's Secret model. Are you serious? But well, one you think are you a robot? Yeah. Right. Number two. <laughs> have you had bad yeah. dating situations happen to you like what uh like on bumble or tinder any N- of these not places. on bumble or tinder but um just in yeah general? in real life sure we all have right? what, kind, what yeah. kind of situations have happened how extreme do you want me to tell go as yeah. extreme as you Le- got um we're gonna get into some details from robbie later they're gonna yeah, we'll, we'll come um, back to right sometimes here. i get girls you know who lead me on a lot of people in my life are just attracted to my energy 
One, I'm on a hit TV show. Two, sure. I'm, a lot of actors, they like to feed off of that successful actor energy. Mm-hmm. Like, maybe they'll rub off, or I'll rub off on them. Right. Do you get, like, the actresses who How- are, like, they try to latch on to you because they think you're going to help their career in some way? The, and they don't intentionally do it. They just naturally do it. It's like... It's like if you were, if you, I don't know, this is a bad analogy, but if you like, you want it to learn martial arts, it's just you automatically trying to become Bruce Lee's best friend, you know? Yeah, you feel like you're going to learn some sort of secret. You're going to pick something something up, you know? Yeah, no, And then what happens is all these people want your time exclusively, and then you're like, oh, we're like. (laughs) Yeah, no, I'll never forget. um, There was, there was like a, a guy that I was friends with when I first moved out here yeah. that uh, I mean, we're talking, you know, back in, back in the day, like 12, 15 years ago. Yeah. And it, there was a guy who was very, very successful or yeah. I thought he was very successful. He came from a very successful family. His mom was Talia Shire from, uh, oh, yeah. from I remember uh, him. Rocky. Yeah. yeah. And we went uh, to her house and for I, a Christmas party. Yeah. And yeah. I knew that he was like a producer and he had kept inviting me over to his house to like hang out. And I, I felt like the more that I hung out there that I thought that was like really important time that I would like somehow break into the business accidentally or Francis something would come great. by and be like, Hey, I'm making another right, I'm Godfather. Making, hey, you look like you could you be can, in the you Godfather can, movie or but something. Rebooting right? the Godfather, you could play Vito Corleone. Right. That's what you thought was going <laughs> right. to happen. Oh, then I get the band a movie. Like yeah. I kept thinking that something like those, that that was really important. Yeah. And it wasn't like, he ended up, I didn't even realize how big a fucking idiot this guy was. <laughs> like, this this kid, he's Jason Schwartzman's younger brother. And he's, you know, from uh, from uh, all those movies mm-hmm. and stuff. Th- this guy, this kid, this younger brother, dumb as a bag of dicks. <laughs> like, he had no career, nothing going on. And he was, like, horrible to hang out with and would be drunk all the time. And I don't drink, really. And, like, but I thought that there was there was something about that that was like a really good idea and it it happens like it doesn't matter what part of your career that you're in if you're like if you meet someone who's really successful in your career like yeah you just you glom wanna, onto them yeah you want to be around because you feel like something and I'm, i've had it to happen too where people want to like hang out with me in a weird way and you're like why is this and you feel it. You can feel that like, energy. Why aren't you weird. blowing me? Right. Right. <laughs> that's why hang out with me. Blow lap. me. You got to blow me. If you're that's always like, uh, a weird question to ask while getting a blow job. Like, why are you blowing me? <laughs> like, just tell me, like, who I am as a person to you. Right. Are you interested? <laughs> it's tricky. That's some tricky shit. Where are you from originally? Man? I'm from San Francisco. I know oh, we've been jumping all over the place. But where yeah, you're, yeah. yeah, originally from San Francisco. Born and raised in San Francisco. I live near Twin Peaks between the bosom and the bush. That's what I say Mm -hmm. the bush is presidio and the bosom is twin peaks where where's your family from are they from out here as well um yeah they're from san francisco my grandma is from santa barbara yeah are you a are you a giants fan yeah all right i'm gonna have to stab you now oh god i grew up in southern california i was born there but we grew up here and i'm a dodger fan and that's yeah i get it yeah yeah it's our thing the giants were in new york who won the world series the new york football giants won the world series who won the World Series? That's yes. the real question. Well, last year it was the Kansas City Royals. Yeah, it wasn't World us Series. last year, but we oh, won one of the years. I know you did. You've won three World Series. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, like, who was was someone acting in your family? Was there an actor in no. your family? You're the only one. No. Yeah. Wow. How'd you get into that? Um, I was good at it. Were you, um, I mean, were you doing it in community theater? Were you doing theater? Growing I up, did or? a little theater in high school, but that was mostly to do something with my friends. Sure. Uh, my dad taught at my high school, so I got to go to that high school for pretty much for free. Fair private and, school you know, then? Uh, yeah, it was a private Jesuit okay. school, yeah. Oh, wow. um, but uh, So I was always known as Mr. Moy's son, and I kind of also, there was a little bit of me that just wanted to get out of that. Yeah. So I started doing theater to do with my friends, and eventually, well, the funny thing is, when I graduated, he was known as Matt Moy's dad. Yeah. Um, which oh, is wow. an interesting about. dynamic. But I just did it in um, high school for fun with my friends because it was something to do. Um, but I never did thought you, of it as a tangible career. No. Did you do plays or musicals? I did both. Yeah. What musicals did you do? Uh, I did Hello, Dolly. I did one called Star Mites. I did, Star Mites. Um, 
Oh God, I can't remember. But uh, I love it. Wild this is I how you tell it. the difference between Stephen and me. We're best friends, but he yeah. asks the musicals question, and I ask the sports question. <laughs> right, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My first thing I go to is, "Hello, Dolly. Who did you play, and what song did you yeah. sing?" The, the, was, only t- the only way Barnaby. they converge if we watch "Damn Yankees," then they converge. Yeah, that's the only bit. time. Uh, that's the only time. time that we have anything in common. <laughs> I uh, popped my kneecap out one time on in a performance. Really? really? Yeah, doing I was what? in my junior year. Uh, I was doing a little shtick. As oh, in the man who came to dinner, that was a play. Hey, yeah. all right. I played banjo, and I was doing like this sort of half splits thing. And I guess I have loose kneecaps. I have loose ligaments in my knees, so you know my knee just went out, and oh, uh, the God. front row could hear it. And I landed on the ground, and the world stopped. And I thought the show was <laughs> over. And I was like, curtains close. And then my buddy on the stage, who played the main character. Robert, he kept going on. <laughs> I'm just thinking, Robert, what the hell are you doing, Robert? Oh <laughs> that, that's a best friend right there. So uh, <laughs> the show must go on. I yeah. popped my kneecap back in, and we oh. kept doing the scene. We oh, did the whole show. God, awesome. that—that's why he's successful today. You know that's what? The dedication it takes. Check this out. Survivor. First time we did the nighttime show live, uh, yeah. we were at um, the well, lyric, the yeah, lyric one theater. Of the first one shows. of the first times we yeah. ever did the Love show. Love the lyric. Yeah, great time. Super Seen some great super shows fun. there. Yeah, uh, we were we got very lucky. We were able to move the show from the lyric theater to the Hollywood Improv, where yeah. we tape where we tape uh, the podcast as well. Uh, to Saturday night, 10 p.m., which yeah, has yeah, been yeah. a sexy-ass way sexy, to do a show. Sexy. So cool. But first time we did the show at the Lyric Theater, I got up on stage, I did the monologue, and uh, I did not see the edge of the stage and fell face-first into the audience and broke my foot at the beginning of the show. I'm glad you didn't break your face. <laughs> oh, yeah. my I mean, I was in a white suit. I went face-first into the crowd, stood up, hobbled up to the desk, sat down behind the desk, put my foot up inside the desk and uh, by the end of the show my foot was the size of a fucking watermelon and I had to go to the ER but I did we did the whole show but we did not two hours until after we we walked to Pink's like yeah. half a block away we went with my mom and my family to Pink's to, Wait, for dinner and w- with a broken were, foot why didn't foot. your parents say you look injured they my mom was like ah walk it off you'll be fine she just thought <laughs> oh, i was kind of mom she was like ah no one like unless you really were watching because the lights were very dark or, like went dark on stage so unless you were watching and you saw how hard i fell like most people were just uh, people like, thought oh. it was a pratfall yeah they thought it was like a joke they thought it was being chevy chase and yeah. good job steven yeah hey, that's how it goes you know the show business and then between first show and second show i had um, uh, a, a a bone boot. graft done on my jaw and oh, yeah. i had to perform on like a shitload of medication and, and that was I, a mess I ruined, the best time it was the so best bad time, and i ruined that for steven because i told him i was like hey where do you think they get the bones that they're going to graft into your mouth from right and he's like i i don't know and i was like well it's either got to be from animals or from dead people it's probably from dead people because it's hard to put animal dna in your bones yeah. And it's from dead people. It was from dead people. So I had a bunch of dead people. I have a bunch of, yeah. I still have a bunch of dead people dead in my people mouth. dead people grafted into his mouth. And I'm, yeah. I'm proud to have. So now when I make a bad decision, I just out. blame it on them. I just go, it was Greg's fault. Yeah. <laughs> Greg. It's I Greg's, totally creeped Greg's you out. Like for a week, he was like I was grossed really out. creeped out. <laughs> okay. So you come to LA and your first, yeah. Your, yeah. what's the job that you come here for? Um, so I came here for voiceover. I studied voiceover. So. Backstory, um, I went to college for Japanese and linguistics. I didn't um, mm-hmm. use it in my career. I decided I didn't want to be a teacher and I didn't prefer children. Right. So after college, I was like, what do I do? My mom is a speech and language therapist. She's like, wait, why don't you do voiceover? I did a couple classes. That's a lot of fun because she knew I did acting in high school. So I was like, all right. So I took voiceover lessons and I loved it. Did that for two years. And then I moved to L.A. for that. Wow. Mm-hmm. And, and what was your fir- your first gig was a uh, was a uh, video game? Yeah, called the White Knight Chronicles. I played kind of a bunny rabbit guy named Rouse with mm-hmm. like a weird Indian accent. Oh my yeah. god, an exotic accent. Now, when you do voiceover, uh, do you ever do any voice matching, or is it strictly like mm, unique characters? I learned about it in classes, but I've never done much voice matching. Okay, um, yeah, that was a that was a, I remember that game. Um, and you know who else was in that? Uh, a lot. Uh, our dear friend Dana Snyder was oh, in that, yeah. was in that okay. video game as well. Oh wow! Mm. Who's who's been on on the live nighttime mm. show? Yeah. So talented. He's the he's on uh, Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Yeah, Master Shake. Master Shake. Yeah. Oh, I love his voice. Pry. Um, 
What's uh, so? How did you end up uh, going from that to doing Mind of Mancia? Like, you got to so tell us about. I what wasn't that booking set was enough like. voiceover work, mm-hmm. and uh, I needed to pay rent, so I was like, I better diversify myself. So I got an on-camera manager who believed in me. God bless his heart. Wow! And he thought I had something. He was like, "All right, I'll represent you." He was a small-time manager. And, I, I just started going on auditions and I was such like a noob idiot because I didn't even taking like real acting classes. And uh, the first job that I booked was Mind Dimensio. That was actually my first audition too. Whoa. Wow. Yeah. Are you Holy still shit. with that manager? Uh, no, I'm mean, eventually I had to leave him. He was like, cause he's older and um, he likes representing these small time actors who are struggling and trying to make it. Mm-hmm. Sure. Yeah, he's I like, you're kind, you're kind of getting too big for this and it's too much stuff to wow. deal with. Yeah. No, He's like, I don't want to, I don't want to deal with somebody too successful. Well, no, I mean, that <laughs> wasn't his purpose. <laughs> yeah. Like you know, for him personally, like he was, He's pretty much a retired guy. Like I just, just, I just signed with an agent who agreed to sign me as an interim agent. She was yeah. like, you can, you can be with me for five months if you want to, because I, I have something at the end of the year that I, I kind of need to be available for to be yeah. able to go and sign with someone else. And she was like, that's fine. Like there, there are people out there who are like down to help you build. Mm-hmm. And then there are people who are like, once you've hit a level, they're like, yeah, well, you know, we'll see you. I've had, I've had a, I had a guy at ICM say to me, I really love you. And someday you'll be famous enough for me to represent <laughs> you. And I was like, okay, cool. Like, I'm yeah. cool with that. Like that's, Fine. At some yeah. point, maybe that'll be the that'll be the game plan. But for right now, yeah, there's and different then you're completely naked, yeah. right? Yeah. And, and then I just pulled my dick out. Yeah, it's like, why aren't you blowing me? <laughs> why aren't you blowing me? Um, you were on. Uh, I, I, I like. I know that you were on uh, How I Met Your Mother, which was a like, like a cool gig. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, that's, but that's but funny. there's a gig that you did. Who did you play on How You Met Your Mother? I was uh, Lewis. I was one of the students for a while. Ted Mosby. He was a I was architecture com- professor. Confused Whatever. him with Mr. Mosby on yeah. the Disney Channel. Right. Um, <laughs> Phil Lewis. Um, Different guy. Black guy. Yeah. Right, um, yes. Robbie te- is a big fan of his. <laughs> <laughs> He's a nice gentleman. Can you Very me funny. I mean, you know. He's the one that was on that show with Ashley Tisdale. Yeah. yeah. Uh, sweet life. Anyway. Yeah. Okay, please, okay. please, please. Um, so Ted Mosby had a classroom of students, and I was one of the students, but they didn't really like me on that set, so whatever. Whatever. Really? You you yeah. were... Why, why wouldn't they like you? Um... Oh God! Well, if you really want to get into it, um, uh, Joshua Radner—is that his name? Josh Josh Radner. Okay, he was having a bad day. Is he the one who plays Ted? Yeah, he okay. kind of took it out on me. Oh, really? For not being on my stuff, but I was actually waiting him, for him. Like I interrupt him, and I was waiting for him to say a word because it's a very important word. So it's Otherwise, a trigger word in the scene. It doesn't make sense it's grammatically. Yeah, yeah, Like sure. it fills in a sentence, mm-hmm. and he was like, "Hey, excuse me, why?" He's not talking. Why isn't he supposed, you know, why isn't he doing his stuff? And then the director was all the way in video village. She wouldn't come over. And I was just like, whatever. And they didn't like, and of course, they're going to side with the star every away single from, time. Like, yeah. Yeah. And mm. I drew too much focus to myself in the scene. They didn't like that. So they just started cutting my lines. And then they did like a baseball lineup later with the girl and the jock. And they're like, oh, great job. Great job. Such a cute voice. Oh, yeah. awesome, bro. And they just gave me a little pat. Like, Good. <laughs> did you Good. meet uh, Neil Patrick Harris? Yeah. Huh. Was he? Nice um, no, was he? I, I didn't meet him at all. I, I just worked that one day. Okay, and that's an interesting one. You were on uh, my favorite television show, probably my favorite TV show of all time. Um, you were on uh, two, uh, my two broke say, girls, no, Tim, 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 and, Tim Eric. and Eric. Awesome show, oh, yeah. great job. Which Matt is not a fan of. I'm like a major fan. I've yes. seen every episode. So I have done everything I can to get everyone that's worked on that show to do the nighttime show live. And we've had almost everybody involved. That, that show is just way too real for me. I love it. it no, it is real life. I'll tell it's you how so that good. happened. Let me know. Um, I got to hear this. Um, so I was kind of in between acting jobs right then. And it was sort of, I don't want to say extra work, but it was like featured extra actor work. Mm hmm. Um, and they needed some nerd types and I was like, Hey, I don't have anything to do. They're offering free craft services. I think I got like paid $75 that day. Yeah. It was pretty much like getting invited to like a guy party in the middle of the day in some random apartment. And then of course I'm the only one who stood out. I was the only Asian kid. I was super young <laughs> back then. I'm with all these older dudes. I'm like, I, I remember the episode. Am I gonna too. get raped? <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't even know what that 
I didn't even know yeah. there's a, they do a whole song. I knew I found that out in post production when I'm watching it on TV. But I didn't know they were doing that. That I didn't know that was the reason why we were there that day to film a music video for that song. Right. They were just like, "Hey, can you guys dance around? Do some clapping? You know, I did some awkward, funny stuff." Yeah. But and then I realized through the end, and I was like, "Oh, we're just regular guys having some free food." <laughs> yeah. 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 You know, they were Tim and Eric. Big time That's in Robbie's like... Robbie's dream, by the way. Getting paid to hang out with a bunch of guys and eating free food. It was very gorilla <laughs> style what we did that day. Yeah. No, yeah. I, our friend uh, Steve Kaufman was in an episode of uh, Bedtime Stories. Tim and Eric Bedtime yeah. Stories. It was almost the exact same thing. Like, you show up... You know you know who they did that to? It was Eric Charles Nielsen, mm-hmm. uh, one of our favorite comedians. Shows up to do the show. They tell him that he's uh, going to be playing... Like some part, it was like, oh, Eric, you're going to come and you're going to be playing like a school teacher today. And he was like, oh, okay, you know, whatever. And he shows up and he's real weird. And then they're like, okay, Eric, uh, put on this uh, costume with these assless chaps. And he was like, <laughs> oh, wait, wait, what? what's going on here? And then they put him in this like weird costume and they put, they put Bob him on a Cat? green screen and they had him walk around on his hands and knees on a green screen. And they were like, okay, uh, let's do a quick interview with him. Before you know it, he they he had no idea what he was doing that day. They cut him into a fake boy band where they're writing him in a fake music video and they're <laughs> and they're like they're tiny little people riding on a giant Eric Charles yeah. Nielsen creature yeah. in the mountains. And like he had no idea and he was not happy. Like he was totally completely weirded out wow. with the whole thing. But I I love uh, is, is that how your dad teaches school too? Does he wear assless caps and let people around him? No. School teacher? No. Okay. no. Just Eric Charles Nelson was his teacher. It's, okay. uh, that sounds pretty much <laughs> right on the money. Um did you uh how did uh, Scrubs come about? Was that bef- was that before Nickelodeon Disney stuff started happening? Uh, no. That so yeah, one of my first jobs was iCarly, so that was before. That's a, what a huge, <laughs> massive show! Like that, yeah, was they were crazy. Great. They had rock band in their craft, and that was still to this day the best craft service room I've ever been to, and the nicest people. Oh my god! Nathan Crest is like, hey, between shoots, let's play rock band and eat yummy shrimp. Yep. Wow. All right. Yeah, he had a. Wow. They had Michelle Obama on an episode of that show. Like, it was I mean, great. It was ridiculous. And I ridiculous. think Miranda's in college now studying. Well, she's on a, a new TV show on nbc i believe fantastic yeah she's uh she's, um, she's killing it yeah but so scrubs was after that um i auditioned for it um i actually auditioned it before so i auditioned twice but and it's funny because i kind of knew i was like okay this is me right i'm the guy mm-hmm. yeah but i didn't get it um because the casting director he liked to read really fast like some casting directors you meet like to kind of screw with you or to see if you'll stick to your choices so they read really fast. Mm-hmm. But then the second time I went and I was prepared for it, I was like, I know how exactly how he's going to read it. And then I booked it. Wow. Nice. nice. Yeah, that's awesome, man. Yeah. What was Zach Braff like? Did you get to work with Zach? I, I met him. He was on his way out. Like if you watch the very last season, season nine of Scrubs, he's in the first half, but he, he sort of leaves yeah. midway and so to part ways so us new students can... Who Take else was the on show. there? On there Donald right Faison. Oh, so and, great. Uh, Sarah Chalky? Was, was uh, Kate McCucci on there at the same time? No, Kate McCucci's on Steven Universe with me, though. Um, oh, she's so great. Yeah, she's my love interest, actually. What? Yeah, it's wild. We love McCucci. Um, love the cooch. Yeah, the cooch. Um, but uh, um, what was I saying? Uh, Scrubs, you know, uh, it was just yeah. Donald Faison and Dr. Cox. Yeah. Oh, main doc- so- and Liza Coop. What was that set like? That was fun. It, it yeah. was like with Dave Franco, Carrie Bichet, Michael Mosley, Nikki Whelan. They've all flourished in their own respects. You know, Dave Franco was one of the nicest people I've ever met. Oh, my God. That's Very so cool. great. Uh, now, we, what came first, Big Time Rush or No Strings Attached? I don't remember. All right. Now, listen, you and me, <laughs> we met on Big Time Rush. Yeah. Um, what was the episode? It was. It what was, was the episode that I didn't watch of your television? Big time show? blogger. <laughs> yeah, it was big, the big time, time blogger. blogger with Deke the blogger. Deke the blogger. What, was it the blogger a dog? No, he was the blogger. Okay. He was the dog. And my nipples lit up. Yeah, in the diagram Light up on me. Yes, they did. If wow. they liked you or not. Yeah, right. and you had this like computer strapped to your body. Yeah, that was and, interesting. Uh, yeah, and you would. Uh, and my favorite was that they you went up into the. Uh, <laughs> they said, um, uh, he, 
there's like a line where you uh you they lock you into a room yeah and then you you bust out uh you go in through the oh, through the air the yeah, air vents the air vents God, so they so I forgot about that so the the boys like they go to like check on him because they've lo- they like screw up the 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 guys on Big Time Rush like Uh-oh. they screw up yeah. they they screw <laughs> up and they're like horrible to him right and they say awful things and they drive him crazy and so then uh he's writing a horrible review of how bad the band is and how they're like fake and crappy mm-hmm. guys so they lock him in a room okay and then he ends up getting up into the air vents and i love i always thought it was super funny because they open the door to like check on him and he's gone Mm -hmm. from the room and logan goes uh oh my god he's in the air vents and it was like (laughs) such a great it was just such a great like like hollywood like you know script movies movie scene it was so funny and then it's you just trying to like get through the air vents and like you're just you know then i'm looking down at them yeah Yeah. Yeah. like looking down at them and those those guys were a lot of fun to work with it was like being back in college they were so like just they were so nuts they were fratty and crazy like me and carlos would just play pranks and scott fellows right we would like change his screensaver <laughs> or his like desktop, you know, background. Yeah. They would do they would do stuff like that. They would change his his, his desktop to like you know uh, porn or, or like my or butt something. or something. Yeah, a picture of someone's butt. Yeah, it was like con- constantly <laughs> doing they're, horrible they're, things. To yeah, a bunch of monkeys. Those guys yeah. are a bunch of monkeys. Yeah, no, no. You were you were great. You were super Thank funny you. on the uh, on the. That episode. was my first guest star. I remember that. I had no idea what I was doing. Like I I didn't know what coverage was. When right. someone does coverage, because I'm used, I before then I was used to being a co-star. They do all my coverage and every like all in one shot. You know, they right. don't come back to do it because you're just mm-hmm. yeah. co-star. Yeah. But guest stars actually get their own, you know, camera pointed at them and then the camera pointing at the guys. And I, I thought I needed to know my lines all the time, even when even though the guys were getting coverage. Sometimes I would run back into the shot and be like, I didn't, I didn't do that right, and they'd be like, Whoa, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, no. When we were doing the show, I w- we talked about it off the air a little bit, but um, you you were like, "Did we meet? Like, when did we meet?" And I I I, I yeah, looked I back at the episode. I was never in a scene with you. Yeah, yeah. That never happened. No. But I used to hang out on the set uh, on days that I wasn't shooting because I loved being on television <laughs> so much that I just never wanted to leave. They had to tell me after like two years of doing the show, like you need to fucking go home, man. They're, they're like, they're Steven, like, you have a job. Yeah. They like, have a job. They, yeah. They were like, yeah. you can, you can relax. Like you don't have to be here every day. You can go home. But I like, I would go there all the time when I wasn't working. Cause I just loved it. I just loved being there. It was so That's much great. fucking fun. What about how, what's like you're this show that you're on two broke yeah. girls. What season are you guys in? We're going to start our sixth season in Jesus August. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Christ, man, wow. that is a lot of television. Yeah, now we're syndicated. Uh, yeah, we're more than 115 oh at my least. God, I, I don't man. know. And you're syndicated now. Yeah, That's, Cha-ching. so we're on TBS all the Cha-ching. time. Yeah. Yeah. That is enormous. What a yeah. huge accomplishment, and congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, Seriously. yeah. That's outrageous. And yeah. you know something that that kind of um, hits me. It, it kind of hits me about your character, and it, it, it kind of reminded me a little bit of I, I just it's reminding me of my own stuff which is kind of weird but I have to ask you this you get they make fun of you a lot on that show they sure. write a lot of jokes and you yeah. make fun of them a lot too yeah, yeah. you have great lines uh, who writes that show like who's writing oh the writers our, our crew of writers they're brilliant and Michael Patrick King yeah yeah so damn Our funny boss. Um, do you ever get, do, do you ever get offended? Like, does the joke ever happen where you no, get your feelings hurt? No, I mean, hurt? I've heard so many short, you, I used to play that in season one, but the thing about that, it doesn't work. Because, to get offended. Yeah, because then everybody feels bad for you. No, I mean, and in, it becomes, like, personally, have oh, you ever, personally? Has, has they ever made a joke that you were like, oh, that's a little, that's a little hard on me. Um, not on me personally. We mainly worry about if it's, whether we've pushed it too far with the audience, because that's what our show likes to do, take two steps to the edge and then pull it back a little right, bit. Right. But sometimes we just go too far and we're like, mm. I, one time we made a Nazi joke and, Oh, those are my favorite. And it was not good. <laughs> and Jonathan was the one who pitched a new joke, which was much funnier anyway. What was it? Do you remember? I don't remember, yeah. but the key with our boss is it's gotta be a funny joke. Sure. It has to be like, you have to like, so even if it is kind of offensive, if it's funny, he's still going to put it in, you know? Yeah. Now, no, do I, you, re- 
do you wind up taping a lot of stuff that gets either taken out with notes or in the editing process where they're like, no, we're not going to actually air that? Um, I, I don't even remember. My, my brain is like, whoop. Oh, goes out yeah. that episode's done, that you're like, term. what happened yeah. on that episode? I can't remember. I've trained my brain to yeah. be very short term now. Yeah, you kind of have to. Because you know what? The, there are... The girls have to memorize so many lines. I mean. I'm sure, you know what? I'm sure you go back and you see an episode and you're like, when did I, that happen? Oh, yeah. and then you sort of remember it. Yeah, I mean, there but, was one line. Uh, there was an aborigine line, which I felt bad about. I was the one who said that. <laughs> <laughs> do you get hate mail from people like over things you say on the show like are like yeah sometimes like you say that, that was a bad line i mean i'll admit that was what was the that line? was really offensive um god I was uh i i was saying that i had um a girlfriend um or i was seeing somebody um i don't know i think the play on words was with original and aborigine though mm-hmm. but it just was it was like a bad joke uh, uh because it, is your show syndicated in Australia? Um, yeah, and then we, yeah, there was a bit of wow. did backlash. You get, from that. Did you get uh, any backlash from your from your character in general? Like, have you ever gotten any? I do. Because yeah, I think I did I think in the you're beginning. Hilarious on the show. Thank you. The backlash now is people making backlash. It's still the way I was in season one. Honestly, it's like people who haven't done the research. I mean, I, I always ask people. Have you seen every single episode of the show? Like, if they're hating on me, because sure. usually they haven't. Yeah, it's usually stuff that they've seen in season one, which grew and changed, and that's how yeah. sitcoms work. Are those they like uh, groups are like you're too much of a stereotype, and they object to yeah. that, or yeah, or just um, Han's English was a lot more broken in the first season, and I get so irritated at this whole stereotype thing because it's you're like playing a character, like a I'm real playing a character, character. on TV. Yeah. Who's representative of that character? I'm not representative of the entire community. Also, I also I also find that Asians get super upset that I'm not one of those attractive Asians. You know <laughs> what? You're a very good looking no, 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 guy. No, 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 no. <laughs> Thank you. Come Thank you. on. No, no, no. Like um, Robbie would fuck you. The, the, well, nah. <laughs> to be fair, I, I'd want you to fuck me. Oh. oh, so I mean. Like you'd be on top. I'd be you, cool. With you that. you like being a bottom. Yeah, Avery. Yeah, like we could do. Fun. I can be a switch. I can be well, a switch. We're gonna get into that later, Robbie. Hang on, real Hold quick. on, Avery. This is the show. This is what we're doing. <laughs> I gotta say, I'm thoroughly entertained. I haven't said a word. I'm just <laughs> Robbie. I don't know where thoroughly. you're from, but God bless your soul. <laughs> you have a great life, Matt. Bless you, Steve. This is just a great experience. Avery, thank you for being here, for making, uh, mm-hmm. for for producing and making it happen. Today. Oh, it's I my pleasure. It. Absolutely. So uh, so awesome. Mm. Um, oh, uh, so back to having sex with the child. Yes, butt. of course. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> start that way. Back to Matt banging Robbie's oh, big ass. Why One second. is this oh, happening? Oh, good lord! Oh, good lord! Um, uh, you know what? Be like one of my dreams is to like I would I would I want to have oh, Jesus. I, I would love to get banged by like every like tons of different guys from different cultures, and then go out to eat to like the cheap American version of that culture's <laughs> restaurant. So so wait, it's like, like a multicultural okay. gangbang. So like, can we can we hold on for a second? I gotta jump back to Robbie for a minute. No, 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 like so you're watching American uh, Dad with the Middle Eastern dude. Oh god, this is really happening. Who makes the move? He made the move. And what was the move? Uh he grabbed my thigh. Did he say oh. I've got a big gun? And then like do you start like making out at that point or is that the move? You know, yeah. thigh touching always gets me. Thigh touching. I mean thigh touching oh, yeah. that's that's the sign. Oh man. yeah, that's a that's that's like solid. If, a, if a woman touches your thigh, like it's it's Oof. on. Yeah. Yeah, I can't yeah. control myself. So okay, yeah. so then Well like basically I asked him what like what he did for work and he's like, We have no time for that. Oh, <laughs> oh. That's sexy. This is getting That's real. Smooth. Smooth. So I was like, wow, wow, okay. You know, like, so I don't, like, his house, like, his apartment looked like a condo that he owned. Mm-hmm. Like, right. it, it was fucking yeah. gorgeous. Like, he, he knows had, what he wants, man. Like, yeah, he knew what art. was up. Like, he had, like, stuff that you shouldn't Something buy as up. a rational person. Sure. Like, okay. a statue, like, it had Here a we base. Go. And it had, like, little holes in it, like that modern art that yeah, no yeah. one would spend real money on. Yeah, and he had and he spent money going on. on. He's like, yeah. So I'm like, I'm down to put out for this. You know, okay. I also feel like his place was staged like a porno because that's what he's seen. 
<laughs> yeah. like, this is what's this right, is what, and that's yeah. why we don't have time because it's only a 20 minute video. Right. Yeah. There you go. There you go. It's like nobody's sitting through the plot part of this. They're going to fast forward through this part anyways. Let's yeah. get to the action. <laughs> fast forward through Netflix and chill. Yeah. Um, did you guys end up going to the to the bedroom? Was there a bedroom, or did this happen out in the. It um, started on the couch, but I felt. Did off. he just take you on the couch? You fell off the couch? couch? Was this. During the action portion when you fell off? Yeah, like, so... Did he fuck you off the couch is no, what I'm asking? No, 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 no. Oh, no, Robbie. Oh, no. <laughs> I, I oh, fell no. off the couch and... Right. <laughs> that was when, like, like we he was, like, starting to undress me and I kind of freaked out and I was like, uh, and I kind of... Did you tell him it was your first time? A very natural twitch. Did you, keep, did you keep your shirt on? Uh... <laughs> Where you like? It's like if I'm going to the pool, I'm keeping I'm, my shirt look, on. I'm just I'm referring to the first time, uh, the first the thing, the, just, the first time I had sex. I just you know I kept my shirt on too. So if that was happened. that also with the Middle Eastern guy? Had, was, it was with thing, the Middle Eastern guy. As he well. had a thing for squeezing my love handles. Hey, oh, wow, so like, it's you, thing. Like, okay, you would just grab like the sides mm-hmm. of my fat, and wow. yeah. I was just. And I, was he uh, a well endowed individual? I mean, when it's going in your ass, it's well endowed. Oh my Doesn't god! Doesn't matter how big it is, it's pretty well endowed. I, I just this episode's called uh, Robbie's Sexcapades. Also, Matt Moy's here. Yeah. <laughs> He's, you're just you're like the burger sandwich I, I, of his bun, and I mean that in every sense of the uh, metaphor. I'm in, I'm in the sidecar. Yeah, you really are. You're Robin. Man, oh man. You're Robin to his butt capades. <laughs> to his butt. Capades. I'm his tater to his tot. That's right. Oh my yeah. god. <laughs> this is fantastic. Yeah. I love everything that's happening. Right now, now. You, did you use protection, Robbie? Tell me you use protection. I, yeah. I that's mean, a no. No. Well, if it's like a uh, yeah, that's a no. Like, oh, I, I, Robbie. Mm, it sounded like be you be careful. Well, you don't know where this Uber driver's been. <laughs> <laughs> He's been all over LA. Yeah, he clearly he does a lot. You got to be God, be but his apartment's we, nice. We know we know where he's been now. Yeah, I know. We know where he's been. <laughs> oh, I mean like thing like Can you trust a man in purple pants? Is that <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. I think now so. uh after this has happened is it physically comfortable for you the next day? <laughs> We or is had, there discomfort after that happens? He had a bag of ice made up for me. Oh, oh I knew there was going to be an ice is a, That's a nice guy. That's a good guy. He's a gentleman. Yeah. That's a good yeah. man right there. I like this guy. So you sat on it afterwards? Or well, no. Like, what? You lay on your stomach, he oh, puts boy. it on your butt for he you? He massaged or? my butt cheeks. Oh. And he put like, the, the bag of ice on top of it. Classy. And... <laughs> Now, sometimes I know with a woman the first time, there can be a little trickle of blood. No. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, no, no. Okay, so here's a no. Thing. Wait, wait, yeah, Matt. Yeah, yeah, I like where this is going. I want to know, for... Matt, Matt, do you provide an ice pack? <laughs> I don't. I should, but I you don't. Probably Matt, you should. dick. He's Let like, me tell oh, you, yeah, wait, real quick, before we it's jump like... any further into the into the Robbie hole, until we jump into the Robbie, <laughs> Robbie hole. A deep and gaping hole. <laughs> yeah. oh. oh, my God. Oh. Uh, Matt, uh, Matt Walker literally almost ruined our entire friendship. I, we've been friends for... We've been friends for... 13 years. Fif, oh, well, I, I was going to say 15 years, but, uh, but somewhere yeah. between 13 and 15. <laughs> so long. I was friends with him longer than he was friends with me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we, we're hanging out one night, and he goes like this. this he like goes two uh, years ago. Two years ago. And he ten goes like years this, of friendship. Ten, yeah, ten years of friendship down the down, almost, down, almost completely down the toilet. He goes like this. He goes, hey, you want to see a picture of a girl I've been banging? I go... Yeah, I mean, I, I guess so. He goes, hey, check this out, check this out, right? Picture of her boobs. I was like, oh, mm-hmm. very nice. He goes, check, go scan over one, okay? Picture of her butt. I was like, whoa, very nice. He goes, one over, picture, and it's just a picture of a penis that is literally the size of like a fucking pool cue, like a pool, <laughs> like a pool, like a What's pool. What's a pool cue? Not a pool cue, like a pool. Uh, a pool stick. Pool yeah. stick. It's yeah, like, like a pool, pool stick. Cue. They're called pool cues. It's like a baseball pool bat. sticks are really this, long. It's mm-hmm. very, very long, this thing. It's very, oh. And I go, whoa, is that her penis? And he goes, no, 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 it's mine, but just don't make a big deal of it. And I go, <laughs> don't make a big deal of it. I was like, you're, you're. You took it with panorama. Like, that's a fucking <laughs> well, embarrassing this is a great penis thing, right? to have happen. It, it, here's the problem. I went to sleep that night. I had a nightmare about his penis. <laughs> Not kidding you. This is a real thing. Chasing me down the street. 
Okay, and it was like, are we friends? It was chasing me, and it was red, you know, red hair. I was running away crying. I woke up sweating, covered in sweat. I have a question. Why did you text him that picture, I didn't text. We were in the car driving. We were sitting next to each other. He was like, No, but you were like, go on over. Go on over. Go on over. (laughs) I didn't remember sending it to her, and it's in the thing. And you know, the thing that upset me the most about it because I don't have look, I don't have a problem with him because like that happens like like it scrolls through, like I'm scrolling through and I scroll and I was like, oh, and I scroll real fast, and then like we're silent for like 20 seconds. I'm like, I'm like, let's not make this a weird bitch. No, I was like, you know what? Here's why it's upsetting to me is because he chose comedy, okay, as like a life career, not. You know, porn, which is what he should be doing yeah. with his life. Like you're blessed, and, Matt. You're, and you're blessed. Every time he tells me about a girl that he's like, "Oh, I went over this girl. She's crazy." It was like, "Yeah, you made her crazy. You <laughs> broke her brain with your penis. Like you broke it. It's not okay. It happens. I mean, it's it's, it's a weird thing. Like girls are normal beforehand, and then they just get. Oh nuts God, and... it's not okay. It's horrendous. So, are you a hey. grower or a shower? Matt. Both. It's both. Oh. It's both. Um, let's wow. jump back. Listen, we got to jump from that. Because <laughs> he's got a monster <laughs> cock. He's got a huge thingy. We got to. We got to jump. Uh, we got to get out of here no, shortly. But boy. wait, no. Listen, we got to get out of here shortly. But we got to talk, talk about, about my penis. Oh, listen, <laughs> <laughs> Matt. We got to talk about something very important. No, for me. any girls listening on Tinder, Matt Moy is the one with the enormous penis. Yes, Matt Moy has an enormous penis. I've seen it. Think it's it'd huge. Block out the sun. Oh it's my god! Huge. You would believe the penis on this now guy. Now the level of expectation is so high. <laughs> <laughs> when you you were on Cupcake was Celebrity Cupcake Wars, yeah. and you fucking won. Yes. Yeah. Tell me about being on that show. Uh, it was great. We fought Joey. I fought. Me and my partner fought Joey Lawrence, Dita Von Tees, and Holly Madison. Now, and I, they, they, yeah, they fuck you, you Joey Lawrence. You ain't got shit. Oh uh, yeah, he was a cool guy though. Do they oh, no, team you sorry, up with a baker? I like that guy. What is that? How that works? They team no, up no, with no. We bear? get to, we got to choose our own bakers. So I, my friend Megan helped me. Because oh, he brings She's somebody a great baker. Like, because do you do a lot of baking yourself? Or I, I have. Yeah. Okay. Because see, I'm a huge like one of my goals in life is to become famous enough to go on one of those celebrity cooking shows where I get to cook. Because yeah. that's like because I love to cook, and I'm like, yeah. so I just need to get famous enough to get on one of those shows. That's like my goal. In show do business. it, Matt. Do it, man. You can do it. All it's those other fucking ass, enough to be on random show. ass people get to do it. Why don't you get I to do it? I don't have Joey Lawrence fame. No, but you can be on like a re- one of those regular, like, you know, the kitchen. kitchen. No, but they hire real chefs for that. I'm, I'm not good enough in a restaurant. I do YouTube videos. <laughs> like, I watch Gordon Ramsay's YouTube videos. I watch the one, like, uh, how he makes a steak. And literally, I was sitting there and I got hard. <laughs> oh, like God. I like I was just like it wasn't like There's too much penis happening in this episode. <laughs> All I can Matt. say is that we're I would... talking about food. Yeah, penis is food. Uh, do, do you, you could do that. no, but you could do that. You should make videos, Matt. You should make YouTube videos of the stuff that you're cooking oh, to cook. Yeah, because if you do that, you can get a big uh, YouTube following for for cooking. People will be Ta- like, talent oh is a cognitive ability to process something and execute it. And yeah. fat game and will you can cook and <laughs> execute that. Look at look at Matt Moy bringing the heat. Yeah, come on. So did Dude, you have fun good. doing Maybe the show? Will. Yeah, totally. It was really intense though, but yeah, it was fun. Have you done the show before? No. Have you what kind never of, done a cupcake show like that? No. What kind of cupcakes did you make? Oh, I made a sweet potato um, based cupcake with nice. um, it was a brown butter sweet potato cupcake mm-hmm. with cardamom and thyme. The marshmallow buttercream frosting and candy pecans on top. That was our first oh. round. Whoa. Did you practice that before doing it on the show? Like you'd made that a bunch of times, like in your apartment or, or your house? I can't or? take you tell you all my secrets, but I did <laughs> practice a lot mm-hmm. baking cupcakes in general. Yeah. Before I was on the show. I didn't want to look stupid. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I read I that, that for like cooking shows, like uh like uh, the the contest cooking shows, that they put the people in like intentionally stressful positions. Um you know, they any reality show does that. Yeah, I mean, for story wise, but I wasn't really aware of any. So were they ni- were they nice people to work? Yeah, with? they were super nice. Yeah, yeah. that's cool. that's a really cool. Um, I had a uh, situation with the uh, cupcake. He was Wars. a judge on. Regular I was a cupcake celebrity Wars. judge. Yeah. Thank you very much <laughs> on Cupcake Wars on the regular show, and uh, they said to me ahead of time, "Do." I'm just now I'm just yeah. re screwing myself basically, but they were like, "Hey, um, is there any uh, ingredients you can't eat?" And I yeah. said, uh, "Yeah, um, bacon. I don't eat bacon, and um, you don't because really pork. Sure. I'm, yeah, I'm Jewish, oh. so I, I don't eat that. And I also uh, no milk and meat together, no shellfish. And they were like, that's 
<laughs> Very sweet. This is a cupcake show. I don't think you have to worry about Wait, any of that. But milk <laughs> is an ingredient. You can have not milk, milk but not just milk not and milk meat and together. meat together. I can't eat them together. Why? Uh, it's a Ask Jewish. Moses. There's a Jewish law about not eating milk and meat together. Uh, it's supposed to be some guy. You're not supposed 2, to. Two thousand like, years ago, wrote a book. You're not supposed to like said you're not kill a cow it. and then dip it into the milk that you get from it. Oh, something, I get it. Yeah, yeah. Like that it's like wrong. feeding you know a baby chick some egg. But I would right, totally yeah, do that. You're not supposed to do it. Hmm. Uh, whatever. That's like the the, the Jewish cheeseburgers law for, are right? the best. So point is, <laughs> point is. Wait, does that mean you can't eat cheeseburgers? Can't eat cheeseburgers. No pepperoni pizza. I've had it. I've had pepperoni pizza when I was a kid because we didn't really follow the rules when I was a kid. Yeah. Until your sister ruined your life. My sister, my sister was <laughs> she like went to Hebrew school yeah. and ruined your life. She's like, wait a second, we can't do any of this. And I was like, you <laughs> shut the fuck up. I like Domino's pizza. I'm gonna eat it. Ah, oh, cheeseburgers. That's a shame, man. They're the best. I know. Yeah, but so you good. ate Domino's pizza. That's that you would. That was a big deal when I was a kid. We got but a Domino's Jewish in my neighborhood. It was a big deal. Papa John's, I can understand, but Domino's? Robbie's virginity is brought to you by <laughs> Domino's Pizza. <laughs> Domino's Pizza, two for ten. Two for ten, guys. Um, what a, so what, you go on the show. You go on the show. I uh, got yeah. And then the first cupcake he gets is a bacon cream cheese cupcake. No, barbecue Ooh. pork. Barbecue pork. pork. Thank you. A pulled pork cream cheese cupcake. And I said, I can't eat this to the producer. And she went, just fucking eat it. <laughs> that was her exact response to me. Just fucking eat it. To, back to me. So I like very like gently took a little teeny bit of the bottom of like mm, good. Put a bad book down. She was really not happy with me. Oh, oh, but you oh, told them terrible. before. Yeah. Okay. Show ends. We have a great time doing the rest of the show. And uh, and then after uh, the show, about about two weeks later, I'm hanging out. I'm having a nice little night. Me and my girlfriend are out. We're we're having a nice uh, dinner, and we run into TMZ. And TMZ is like, "Hey man, Cupcake Wars airing tomorrow. So exciting that you're uh, you're you're on that show. Was it fun?" I said, "No, it was fucking gross. <laughs> yeah. It was oh, not. Wow. It was not cool. I was very upset." And they were like, "Why was it gross?" I go, "Well." And I told them the story. Oh. I was like, I said this, and they fucking did this anyways. And they said, fuck you, eat the fuck cupcakes. And I was like, I'm Jewish. I don't want to eat it. And it was like, whatever. TMZ posted the story and said, basically, a big t- Nickelodeon star gets screwed by Cupcake Wars uh, and made it all about them being anti-Semitic. <laughs> Food Network called Nickelodeon, like the heads wow. of Food Network called the heads of Nickelodeon were like, we're never working with your network again. Like this is, <gasps> we're never working together after Whoa. this, right? Big fucking blowout. Nickelodeon calls my manager. They're like, you just screwed us cute. Tell, tell him he's, he's a fucking asshole for not eating the cupcake and making a big fuss about it. Like what kind of guy is this? Blah, blah, blah. Okay. They call me, my manager calls me. He's like, why did you have to do that? Why couldn't you just just pretend? Like, you know, you made us look like a bunch of assholes. Now Food yeah. Network doesn't want to work with Nickelodeon. It's a whole fucking <laughs> mess. Yeah. Right? You're all an actor. This stuff. Act like you're, you're eating a cupcake. Like eating a cupcake. <laughs> What's the matter with you? Right, they're all doing they're this. Jerry a big... Seinfeld out of nowhere. Right? <laughs> no, 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 no. Eat the cupcake. Eat the cupcake. I'm not eating the cupcake. Eat the cupcake. Who cares? <laughs> Feels like something like a Larry David kind of. Wait, so what happened? What happened? Real, real, what happened? What ends up happening is. Kendall from Big Time Rush. Love Kendall. Great mm-hmm. kid. Getting off the airplane. TMZ stops him. They go, hey, did you hear this whole situation happening with fa- camera in his face? Hey, did you hear this whole situation happening with Stephen Kramer Glickman and Cupcake Wars? <laughs> and he goes, what are you guys talking about? And they go, hey, supposedly Stephen Kramer Glickman is like a kosher Jewish guy who doesn't eat bacon. And uh, I mean, I mean, Cupcake Wars like made him eat bacon and cream cheese. I mean, is this is he like just being, you know, a drama queen or does he really not eat that stuff? And Kendall goes, are you kidding me? Steven's one of the most Jewish religious guys I know. I think it's very disrespectful that they did that to him. Mm-hmm. Within a day, Food Network apologized to Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon wow. apologized to my manager. My manager apologized to me. And then Cupcake Wars sent me a bunch of cupcakes as uh, to my uh, Let's all clap room. for Ken. Yeah. I know. Wow. wow. Kendall Schmidt. Yeah. Except Love all the, guy. the cupcakes they sent him had pork on them. <laughs> 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 oh my god! And I love I love Cupcake Wars, and I would completely go back and and do it again. And I, good I, I and you should never set, talk. You should never talk shit about like if you're having some sort of you know there's some sort of issue. You just keep it. You you know 
Why was that producer like, so surprised? Like, this is Hollywood. Like, how many Jews <sighs> line this? Pro- Jewish producers! I know! I just don't I understand know. what the mindset was of asking you what you can't eat yeah. and yeah, then and giving then it immediately to you. immediately going yeah, against it. You should it. never talk bad about shows you're on, which I can't believe the things Matt Moy said about Two Broke Girls. <laughs> right. It's mm-hmm. outrageous. What he just, no. I think the real <laughs> issue here is that people put pork on a cupcake. Yeah, no, no. I think that's the real. It problem. looks so good. Yeah, they, pork they gave and him a cream bunch. Cheese. They gave him a bunch, Ooh. and they didn't send him that one. I wanted to try it too. It looked oh, really good. Yeah. That one, there was a gummy, like a sour gummy worm cupcake that looked oh, really good. God. Like if you put the sour gummy worm in the cupcake, like, like in the cupcake, like the cake part of the cupcake, right? That sounds good, but like on top of it, just oh, Robbie, that's just an additive. Yeah. yeah. It's just All right, Matt. Um, we've loved having you here. Oh, uh, thank you for fun. having me. Thank you for being here and. Uh, <laughs> And listening to Robbie's the horrible ha- story, ha- the half <laughs> porno <laughs> show, <laughs> porno show. Um, what what do you have coming up? What's what's happening next? Uh, I just did a beer commercial for. Uh, I don't know if I can talk about it yet, yeah. but that was my first beer commercial, so that was really fun. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, cool. yeah, cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. Amazing. Yeah, that must have been a good. Did time. Did you say that great was... taste or less filling? <laughs> huh? <laughs> have you done also before your time? Have you I'm done so other? Yeah. Yes, you really are. You're a very old man. Have you done other commercials? Is this like? Um, a... Yeah, a long time ago, but this is my like first big one in a while. Yeah. So yeah, that's super exciting, yeah. man. I love yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Um, w- one last little thing: when being on a show that's this big, two yeah. broke girls, right? Do you, like do you feel like being on a show like coming and doing this podcast and you're hanging out and Robbie's uh, telling these uh you know horrendous uh <laughs> yeah, wonderful sure. you told sex me stories <laughs> no i know but do you ever feel like you're going to get in trouble for any, for like talking about things or being like on a on a show like do you ever do you ever worry that like the network would get upset with you for being a part of something um well, i mean we're a pretty racy show anyway yeah. so um and I'm, i mean i have nothing but positive things to say about the show so yeah no I mean, no well that's awesome why. yeah are, okay are good are you okay with being a, uh, associated with butt sex is what he's <laughs> no I don't, think there's anything, I don't think there's anything wrong with butt sex i think butt sex Great stuff. Great yeah, stuff. There was one episode where they had um, this goat like ram me in the ass and like knock me over and pull down my pants. So wow! Yeah. Did the goat mm-hmm. give you an order? ice pack afterwards? No. <laughs> he was actually very gentle with me. Okay. I was like, hit me harder. Oh my god! Where can people find you on the internet? Uh, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram. Ha- um, I'm sorry, my handle is the Moy Wonder on both of those. That's a good one. Follow you. That's a good good one. That is a good good one. Um, and uh, on uh, on Tinder, if you if you swipe. Oh on, no, you... I just deleted it. Oh, what are I you deleted... on? What else are you on? Nothing. Dating? I'm, you don't I'm, any dating ones? I'm, nope, I'm free. Well, listen, ladies, if you see Matt Moy in public on the street, tackle him and fuck the shit out of him. All right, the guy is very good looking, oh, wow. and he's got a thank you guys. He's got a dick the size of a baseball oh, bat. No, no, no don't, don't, don't hide me up. Robbie, don't hide. Robbie, where can they find you? Uh, they can find me in my apartment. Um, oh, and, God. And on Grinder. Yes, they on can Grindr. also find me on Grinder. They can find him at Middle Eastern. He has GPS tracking. <laughs> now, are you going to see the guy again, Robbie? Uh, well, or, he, that's the thing. Like, uh, after, you know, after we, we kind of had our, our thing. Right. Uh, I basically, uh, I went and I got a bowl of cereal and he had fallen asleep. So I left him my number. Wow. On okay. like on his thing and I was like I bounced after. Well, you know, the next time that you're Wow. That's actually no. Yeah, I got to say Robbie, you are a good hookup app date yes. and that he didn't have to try to kick you out the next morning or anything like you saved all the awkwardness you're like I'm just gonna leave. Yeah, and, and you left him a little note. No, but That's what if he wanted note. you to stay and talk after? <laughs> what if he wanted you to he help him asleep. pick out weird art for his but apartment? He, but he was like so caring to you, you know. Not, like, but the thing is, like, it's it's got to be weird to wake up and like. I don't and know see if he Robbie. Was drinking. He might have been yeah, able exactly. to give you a ride home because he's an Uber driver. Like that might have. <laughs> oh. But I drove oh. back. Oh, all right. Okay. okay. Well, uh, where can they actually find you? What's uh, your? They can find me. My Twitter is Robbie Carlisle, uh, L Y S L E. Uh, same thing for Facebook and my website. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm actually uh, I got a, a a show I do at the uh, the Van Nuys Comedy Club on Wednesdays. Hey, the Springbok. My... Yeah. Well, yeah. That's a, the yeah. Springbok. Uh, Springbok. Where yeah. me and Matt used to perform back yeah. in the Dizzy. Yeah. No, Billy Bats still runs it. Great mm-hmm. place. It's... A lot of yeah, fun. Yeah, we did it way yeah. before Billy Bats, like oh my God. 10, 12 years ago. Yeah. They oh. used Matt to, Hummel. They used, they to, used to leave the TV on when we'd perform. Oh, yeah. What a oh, fucking wow. nightmare. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot better now. Uh, Matt, where can people find you? Uh, you can check me out at funnymat.com. If you uh, don't like what I had to say on the show today, let me know at mattwalkersucks.com. And you can watch my <laughs> comedy special for free on Amazon Prime. 
Uh, just go to my website. You can find a link there. I love it. But, well, Avery, what about you, buddy? Oh, they can find me on ev- everything. I uh, go on Twitter uh, at Avery Funny or my website, AveryPearson.com. I love it. Oh, I, love I love it. you. I love Where can you. they find you, Stephen? Well, I'm at Stephen Glickman, S T E P H E N Glickman on all social media Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Um, on, on, on the YouTube, you can find clips from the nighttime show live. We have lots of really funny stuff up there. Uh, great performances, great, uh, mm-hmm. great, hilarious people. And come see and the then, nighttime show yeah, in person. The, yeah. Then, uh, the nighttime show is always Saturday night. Uh, it's once a month, Saturday night at the Hollywood improv, 10 PM. Uh, always, we always have a uh, fireball whiskey, uh, fireball whiskey gives away, uh, shots to the first hundred people that wow. show up to the show, which is amazing. Shots. Amazing. Uh, last month we gave away uh, 20 dozen Krispy Kreme donuts to the audience uh, because Logan Henderson from Big Time Rush came up yeah, on stage yeah. and won and like helped helped us win a big uh, prize and mm. people won won donuts. It was super fun. Uh, next, uh, yeah, so so yeah, um, come check out the show and uh, subscribe to the podcast. Don't forget to leave comments and like it. And uh, and uh, we like you. So thank you for listening to the nighttime show. And.